Hello friends, today we are going to see how to remove duplicate elements from an unsorted list. So let's see, this is a linked list which is unsorted and you can see there are some duplicate elements like 3 is duplicate element, then another duplicate element is 5. So we want to remove these duplicate elements. So we can have multiple approaches for this. Let's see the first approach. The first approach says that you can use two loops. So I will tell you. So suppose P is pointing to the first element. Then we will take an another pointer Q. We will traverse through the whole list ahead of P to check whether the data of P has repeated in this linked list or not. So in short it will check whether one is repeated in this linked list or not. So Q will travel through this list and it will check for 1. If it gets 1 then it means that 1 is repeated, 1 is duplicate. If it does not get 1 it means 1 is not repeated. Now after 1 is checked then P jumps to the next element and Q starts from the next element of P. So Q will check from 2 to end of the linked list. So Q, now P is pointing to 3. So Q will check for 3 in this remaining linked list. When Q finds 3, suppose here Q has found 3, it means that 3 is the duplicate element. Then we will remove one of these duplicate elements. Okay. So this is the approach. Now let's go for the second approach. Second approach says that sort the linked list and then remove duplicates. You know we have seen an another video. I have mentioned the link in the description below in which we, uh, in which we remove the duplicate elements from a sorted linked list. So only thing extra you have to de do here is that you have to sort the linked list first and then you have to apply that algorithm to remove the duplicate elements from the sorted linked list. Now the third approach is use hashing. So I will tell you how to use hashing because this is the most efficient approach. But this approach has some disadvantages. I will also tell you that. So let's see. So for hashing your key will be the data of the node. See, for a hash table, as you know, suppose this is the hash table, there is a key and value. So, this key will be the data of the node and the value will be either 1 or 0. Okay. So, value will be either 1 or 0. 1 represents that element that data is present in the linked list and 0 represent that data is not yet present in the linked list. So I will show you 1 for present and 0 for absent. So let us implement this method so that you can better understand. So suppose for traversing the linked list P is pointing to the head of the linked list. So P is pointing to the head. Now, so for implementing this hash table, we will use an array. So for array, as you know, the key is the index of the array. So index of the array is the key and the data will be the value means the data of this array means these cells will contain the value that is one or zero and this index will be the key. So these keys will represent the data in this linked list. Okay. So now see. So P will point to the head of the node and in the beginning since we have not yet encountered any element P is just starting now all the locations will contain 0. So remember to fill all the locations with 0. If you initialize the array, 
in such a way that all locations have default data as zero then there is no problem if not then you have to externally initialize those elements to zero so let's start so first element is one so go to the index of the array to which p data is pointing so array of p points data so currently data is one so array of one so come in this array array of one so this one so array of one is zero so if it is zero it means the element one that is the data one is not yet encountered in the past so in in place of zero make it present i have an another point to tell you when p moves ahead you have to initialize a pointer q which will always be one place behind p so q will always follow p q will always follow p that is for the deletion of the duplicate element so i will tell you it further you will understand it for now just remember q will always follow p so now p is pointing to 3 so arr of 3 okay so go to the third location and uh, third location is 0 so that element was not encountered in the past so we will make it 0 to 1 1 means present now let's get ahead so p will go ahead and q will also go ahead q will always follow p remember that now the element is 2 so array of 2 uh, sorry here i have to run so array of 2 this is the second index as it is 0 we will make it 1 okay let's go ahead p will go ahead q will follow it 3 so array of 3 so go to the third location here already there is 1 okay 1 means it was encountered in the past so again we have encountered 3 means this element is a duplicate so now you have to remove this element okay so as you want to remove this element you have to store the address of the next element because if you remove this element you will lose the address of the next element so store the address of this element in a pointer i will call it as store pointer okay now after storing this address you can remove this element and you can point the next pointer of q to the store pointer you can point the next pointer of q to the store pointer okay and then just point p to the store pointer to that next element or you can say just point p to the next of q and q will remain as it is because it is always following p it was always one position behind p so this is how we removed this element from this linked list okay now let's go ahead so again the next element is 5 so array of 5 here it is 0 so make it 1 then let's go ahead q and p will go ahead so p will come here q will come here now the element is 4 the element pointing is 4 so come to the fourth position here it is 0 so make it 1 we accessed array of 4 there now check again go next so p will go there q will follow p now check p is 5 so array of 5 now array of 5 there is already 1 so this element is duplicate so in the store pointer store the 
address of next next element of p and then attach the pointer of q to store pointer okay and point p to store so p will point to the store pointer this is the procedure standard procedure for deleting an element now when p is pointing to null see p is pointing to store and store is pointing to null so p is null when p is null we have to stop here we have to stop the while loop for example if you are using while loop then we have to break the while loop here okay so this is how we have removed the duplicate elements in o of n time only o of n c because the array access time for each element array access time so for example if you access array by index error of i the array access time is only o of 1 and we are just traversing the linked list so the total time complexity is o of n okay this was possible because we declared an array of the highest highest data highest data means what the highest element in this array is 5 and we have declared the array of size 5 let's see now the disadvantage of this declaring the array of highest size highest number or highest element in the linked list is 5 so we have declared the array of that size so what is the disadvantage suppose the highest element is 1 lakh suppose the highest element is 10 lakhs it can be anything right so the array should be declared of that size so this is a trade-off means either you have to choose size or you have to choose running time complexity so for big websites where there is huge traffic and they have big servers generally they don't have any size restrictions but they want the highest speed they want the highest performance so they prefer to give size but they want high speed so they use this method for removing the duplicate entities from their traffic so this is where this algorithm is used hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you